Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we are taking a look at officially what is probably and we're pretty much 99% sure the RTM or the official version of the October 2018 update pushed to insiders in the form of a build yesterday build 17763 so I'm so convinced that this is the official release that I actually updated my main machine so I'm doing this video from actually my main PC that I use every day to work so uh, <coughs> you guys will have an idea of uh, of course because I am the guy taking the chances to uh, help you understand if it's gonna work well or not I updated my insider machine and my main machine to 17763 without a glitch it worked fantastically well really got no problem with that so it's kinda cool to see all of this it's really really nice um, the update went well the process went well you know when I updated this main machine to the April 2018 update there was a lot of problems there was I had a sluggish computer it was much slower to uh, start up than before and had some issues and then the first cumulative update appeared and it just froze there so it forced me to actually do a clean install on the April 2018 update on this one <coughs> no glitches no issues it's as fast as it was when I was on April 2018 update which was 17 uh, 134 and uh, I don't see any glitches in here um, somebody was reporting to me well you sure this is the last build because there are two known issues uh, yeah, there's an issue where the CPU is apparently not reported correctly in the task manager. Um, and there's also another one where the arrows, so you see here the little arrows to expand, look at that, they kind of blink and, and, and disappear, it's so weird. Um, so they're going to fix that probably through a cumulative update. They don't have to push a big build to fix things probably now, they're just going to have a cumulative update and uh, so probably <clears throat> in the next week or two will we push a cumulative update to fix that okay um, you might say well okay so it's time to remove myself from the insider program don't do it just yet okay we've learned from the April 2018 update one big major thing and it's that um, all hell can break loose it did on April 2018 update and suddenly they have to push a new build to fix things that's what happened so wait you know there's this few weeks of uh, buffer zone where you'll be okay here and at some point anyways there's going to be a warning uh, Donna Sarkar will post a warning saying hey you know what uh, it's time to remove yourself if you don't want to continue because you were soon to have a new build when that warning gets there you know remove yourself from the insider program I'm keeping my main machine in the insider bills right now just in case but of course I will be removing it from the insider program when I'm sure that we are at the uh, October 2018 update but it does look and feel that this is the thing uh, build feed doesn't have any new build numbers I think it just tells us that we're there um, the wording changed also <coughs> in the blog post uh, she Donna Sarkar would say this isn't the official build yet now this is not what she's saying she's saying this doesn't mean we're done so the wording change that means okay that will be a cumulative update uh, we are pretty much done okay no new front facing features of course because there's uh, you know nothing new in the last few stretches and last few builds of a Windows version they're just doing bug fixing so there's some bug fixes and improvements install went super well I have no issues I have no issues using it uh, if we highlight really quickly a few of the major things in here one of the major things is of course the phone experience your phone experience is um, you know to manage and get the pictures from your phone even manage text messages and so on you'll see your phone appear here like this on the upper left corner um, and uh, it's a great great app to access stuff on your phone the other thing is the Cortana search really nice bigger wider it's more interesting and has more information now you can search for app settings and whatever in here but um, you don't have to necessarily go on the web for example to uh, see results of some searches sometimes it just stays in here it's a much more detailed look at whatever you're doing and when you're searching for apps 
of course uh, this is nice because it it has much more uh, details and will want you to open the last documents right from here and this is cool this is a very very nice way of redesigning this of course my full review is coming up so if you want to have more detail on what everything is all about we'll talk about it uh, another um, update that happened is of course through edge edge has several little updates including better pdf and uh, epub reading for you know electronic books uh, better menus easier to use menus also uh, with narrator also with all sorts of you know reading of the books and stuff that everything is better uh, there's a lot of stuff they added here uh, one that i love and that i've actually added here is the uh, autoplay block that is now enabled for my computer here so better menus trying to improve edge will it make it more popular i don't think so but you know i use edge i like it uh, but most people use chrome and you know that's fine i mean you use what you want to use honestly uh, of course the dark themed file explorer that is here um, now available so this is kind of cool you know i mean it's a it's a nice file explorer i actually like it uh, you know, it could be better. I, I, I totally understand that, but something I like. Uh, of course, some of the settings that have changed uh, location. So uh, there's some stuff in here that now uh, you have, uh, for example, the sound settings that are, uh, you know, available through the settings instead of the control panel. Uh, changes in the display and how um, HDR displays or high dynamic range displays are, are actually working. So different settings are actually added and changed. There's a, a, a little shuffle here in the, in the settings menu, of course, in everything that's in here. One of the um, uh, other new things is a snip screen snip tool that I actually love. You can now sc snip a full screen or you know a, a weird area of the screen. It sends it automatically to the clipboard, which is very nice. And the new clipboard now shows up here in a notification area which is nice and where you can click for whatever uh, you're doing. Um, from what I understand, that clipboard should actually sync with another PC, and I'm going to do some tests with this today since I have two machines now on the same version. But, uh, you know, overall, um, a few things, not that many new things. I think they're focusing on bug fixing much more than anything else in this version. And, uh, you know what, it's okay like that. I mean, that's what maybe we should do and concentrate um, after the April 2018 update that wasn't going that well. Okay, so we're here. This is probably it. Wait, don't remove yourself from the Insider uh, builds just yet until it's officially official. And, uh, well, if you're wondering when this is push, being pushed to all of you guys that are not Insiders, it's coming probably in the first half of October. So how did this build go for you? Do you like it? and uh, give us our details if you're an insider. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.